I wanted to give you a very quick uh, sneak peek into some work we're doing with the configurable map viewer. This is uh, work we're doing to extend the existing framework to make it offline enabled. Let me just walk you through what's on the screen here. It's a simple, it's a simple map viewer. You can actually pull data in using a configuration file from ArcGIS Server, ArcGIS Online, or indeed Portal for ArcGIS. This is a widgets based framework, so we can drop in widgets using this framework to provide functionality. Um, and I'll walk through those widgets in a second. Uh, the application itself is responsive, so it's a web application which runs on smartphones, on laptops, um, on tablets. It runs on any device on any platform. So what we've got here, I'm just going to click on the left side, are a group of widgets. We've actually got five widgets on the left side, and we've got a single widget up here as well. Um, we'll just walk through some of these widgets quickly. So this one actually is going to walk, is going to step us from uh, a vector-based base map to uh, imagery. Now these are the two layers we're actually going to store offline. On the left hand side, again using a configuration file, you can add any number of uh, widgets that, uh, to, to the application. So on the left here, as I've mentioned, we've got five. We've got a simple layers widget, which will obviously turn layers on and off. Um, we've got a draw widget, which uh, simply allows us to drop points, lines, or polygons on, on the uh, map itself. I'll, I'll show you edit in a minute. Bookmarks will uh, simply store um, different extents for you. And then we finally got the, uh, the base maps option here. So what we've got is a series of widgets. Some are offline enabled and some are not. Why do we have a difference there? Well, some widgets actually need to actually have access to server online. They actually use services there. So we need to actually have an internet connection to use those widgets. Other widgets don't need that. And in this case, we've actually built uh, the offline base maps widgets to be only an online um, enabled widget. Um, the rest actually work offline. So I'll just show you exactly what that means in a second. The, uh, this widget actually allows you to store, download street maps or the, the vector data you're looking at here, to download satellite image we just looked at. Um, we can actually show a grid and I'll show you that in a minute as to where that data is. In fact, why don't I do that now? So we know that we've actually got this area stored on a database on the device so we can use it offline. If we had a different area up here, we'd also see a grid there. So any number of grids could, we could see on the map which represent uh, data that we've actually downloaded to the device and can work with offline. Okay, let's hide the grids. Let's go offline. So this button in the bottom left hand corner actually allows us to go online and offline. At the minute we're online, we'll simply click that, zoom out, um, and we can actually see that we're now offline. You'll notice this widget changed. We've only we've now removed the ability to get base maps, to get streets, because obviously offline we can't do that. But we can still show grids, so we've left that option there. So we're now in offline mode. Um, we can see we've got the, the uh, streets, the vector stuff, uh, vector imagery stored. Oh, sorry, the vector base map stored, and we've got satellite imagery there as well. So we can now work fully offline on any device using this framework, um, and go ahead and, and do the things that we need to do. In this case, what we need to do is to do some editing. So I'm actually going to use the editor here. I'm going to click the Start Editing option. We've got added to this a point. This actually is gas wells data. We'll just drop that point on the map. And you'll actually see the, the uh, attribute inspector come up and we can actually fill out these different fields. But the biggest thing I wanted to, to, you to note was this green cross here. Now this green cross indicates that we've actually added the data, we've got it stored, but we haven't actually stored it on the back end yet. Obviously we're offline at the minute, so we've got it stored locally on the device. I want you to watch that as I go back online. So I'm going to click the offline button here and to take us back online. And you'll notice that that green cross has disappeared and we've now got um, that point data added to the back end. So that could be a, a, a feature service in ArcGIS Server Online or Portal. So this uh, is a very, very flexible framework that we've got here. Again, we're extending it to provide the offline functionality. That means not only is the base of the application able to go offline, but we can also uh, take various widgets offline. And we're also working with forms. So I'll just show you very, some brief work we're doing with forms. So we've been asked for custom forms. So we've actually set um, 
a, a widget here which provides forms and this is just a this is just a, a test widget at the minute for the, with the data and we can actually generate we haven't we're not going to show this in this demo but we can actually generate a PDF from this forms data which can be uh, stored locally on the device when you go back online it could be emailed it can be printed whatever is needed to be done so this is work that we continue to do um, and we see this is extraordinarily useful and flexible for, for use by both office-based staff and uh, field staff as well. Thanks for watching.